Hey guys, how's it going? So, as you guys know, I love doing gun reviews, I love guns, and I love almost everything about guns. But, what I'm probably truly the most passionate about, about is our gun rights. Because, without our gun rights, we lose all of the guns that we get to share and enjoy and talk about. And we also lose our right to personal preservation, liberty, freedom, and the safety of ourselves, family, friends, and loved ones. So. As you guys already know by watching past videos, I love to do gun rights videos. First of all, this is what I'm passionate about. I like to kind of throw my ideas out there to maybe hopefully inspire someone who's kind of thinking of the right wording for a letter they're going to write. Gives you guys ideas of things you can share with your friends and family. And just so we can all kind of get together and hang out and have each other's back as far as keeping our gun rights and ultimately our liberty that's given to us by our creator, by God, and that the government has no right to take away. So today's video is gonna be just a little bit different. I got a letter from a viewer today, just checked my PO box earlier this afternoon, and it's a sample of a letter that he wrote, that he's sending to his public servants, his elected officials, you know, politicians and such. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the letter that he wrote, and this is just to give you guys some more ideas and also to offer you guys encouragement that not only do we need to have each other's back, but there are other patriots out there just like me, just like you. We're all just regular people. We're people hanging out, having a good time on YouTube, but we're all sticking together to preserve our rights, our happiness, and our safety and preservation of this great country. So. He wrote me a little handwritten note that was to me personally, as well as including a copy of the letter that he wrote that he's sending out to people. So I'm just going to start off right here and let's hear what this viewer, fellow patriot has to say. Like I've often said, I love hanging out with you guys on here. I consider many of you to be my friends. Love reading your comments and many of you are much smarter than me and you guys should probably be the ones on the microphone and on the video here but I do the best I can and it's just awesome to see that other people are doing the same things I'm doing and probably doing it better. You guys are great. So he starts off, hello 2AEDU, this is, and I'm gonna leave his name out just because I respect privacy, but he's been a regular of the channel forever. You'll probably see him in the comments. It's up to him, but this isn't about him. This just is about the message. And he said, I just wanted to send you a small donation. And by the way, man, thank you so much. That's so awesome. I really appreciate it. I think it's a little more than a small donation. This will definitely help for an FFL transfer fee for a new gun I'm going to be reviewing soon for the channel. So thanks so much, man. And also real quick, thanks so much to my Patreon supporters. You guys are freaking awesome. And also to all you guys who are just subscribers, watch my videos, share it with your friends, and share your ideas and comments down you know, below the videos. You guys are also awesome. However you guys contribute, I really, really appreciate it. All right, he says, um, I wanted to send you a small donation and thank you once again for getting the message out there. You, sir, are one of the reasons I have been more active locally with phone calls and letters. I am hopeful the message is getting through to others as well. In this envelope, I am going to include one of the letters I have sent out. I wanted this particular letter not to sound aggressive, in quotes. Let me know what you think when you get a chance. Take care. And you know what, man, just the thought that I possibly inspired even one person, that's just so humbling. And it makes it feel like me doing these gun rights videos is worthwhile because this isn't about me. This isn't about any one of you, but it is all about all of us, both individually and together to preserve our rights of the pursuit of happiness, self-preservation, self-protection, and that we do have each other's back if the government ever comes, becomes tyrannical. And the fact that they're all trying to take our guns away, we need each other. And this is awesome. So as much as I may have inspired you, man, you've also inspired me. And hopefully your letter gives other people ideas that they can put in their letters. Because we need to share each other's ideas. Because the other side, they're getting together to try to take our guns away from us. We need to get together to stop them and to keep our rights. So I'm going to read his letter that he sends out right now. And it's a great letter and hopefully it inspires you guys and gives you guys some ideas much better than I myself ever could. Okay, so he starts off, to whom this may concern, I am the taking the time to write you an attempt to hopefully shed some light on a few thoughts and feelings in regard to the Second Amendment. 
I do realize we may not see eye to eye on everything and that's alright. I just want to say there are thousands of people in the great state of New Hampshire and millions across our great nation that would never harm anybody with their legally owned firearms. I truly believe individuals that take on the responsibility of carrying a firearm legally would try to save lives if ever found to be in one of those horrible situations. The thought of a person committing one of these heinous acts is absolutely repulsive. My heart goes out to the families that have lost loved ones in these tragic terrorist attacks. With that being said, in these strange days, I don't believe in taking away one's ability to protect themselves. I believe that my family should have an unwavering right and access to the best possible tools for our protection and self-preservation. They deserve it. Because when seconds matter, the police are minutes away. I am pro-law enforcement and a supporter of police, but facts are facts. It's genuinely a disservice to demonetize a tool to the actions of deranged individuals that commit horrendous acts of violence. If gun control is enacted, it will only disarm the law abiding, the very people that we don't have to worry about owning firearms, the hardworking, honest, law abiding citizens of this country, as a byproduct of gun control, will be less safe. Let's be honest with ourselves. Do we truly believe that criminals would follow or care about new gun control measures? Do we really think that an unlawful individual would have a, chance, a change of heart? I highly doubt it. Hence the reason some are labeled as criminals. If any gun control, if anything, gun control is like a dinner bell to the crazies of the world, a signal if you will, letting them know that lawful citizens are now soft targets. To those who believe in the Constitution and fight for the Second Amendment in a day and age when a God-given right is unfortunately taboo, I commend you. Please keep fighting the good fight and let us remember why the Second exists. To those who oppose the Second Amendment, that's your right as well. You don't have to own firearms, just don't dictate to me what I should do. All I ask of you is that you try to see the perspective of millions of law-abiding citizens in this country. For instance, the joy of recreational shoots in an outdoor range, hunting to bring the freshest source of protein to the dinner table, the ability to protect one's family and loved ones, and to protect this great nation and its people. I'm hopeful we will be heard at the elections in November. Thank you for your time, consideration, and service. Sincerely, your fellow Granite Stater. Amen, man. This letter is awesome. This letter is so well written. written so on point as i said earlier better than anything i could have written and if i inspired you that's awesome but you've definitely inspired me and i hope some of you other viewers are inspired you know this man is fighting for our rights so are many of you guys don't let down don't give up you can take this letter guys and take some of the key things out of it give you some ideas brainstorming whatever let me know what you guys are doing, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This letter is so good because he uses a lot of their talking points, but turns it around and uses the facts. I love it when he says stuff like, you know, I'm not going to tell you that you have to own a firearm, but you're not going to try to take mine away. I love it how he also says that he sympathizes with people that have lost loved ones, but that criminals are never going to follow gun laws, and they're still going to do these heinous and horrendous acts. All gun control is going to do, as he so accurately states, is disarm people who just want to protect their families. It's going to disarm the best of us. This letter hits on all of these points that I have tried to talk about. I don't think I've done as good of a job as he did, but... You guys know what's best for you. You know what's best for your family. And here's the great part. When you write these letters and type them out, send them to them, email them, tweet them. Actually send regular mail. A stamp's 50 cents. I know it's a ripoff. Send it into them. When they read this, they know that you took the time and effort and that you're passionate about it. And as he mentions with the elections, always remind them that you're going to vote and that they will be accountable but to you. The citizens, the people that are in charge of this great country, and that you have the leverage and power over them with your vote. So, thank you so much for inspiring me, man. I hope that it inspires some other people. This is a very small channel. I have a very small voice. But together, we keep spreading this on. Keep spreading the good message, the truth. Good will prevail. And you guys are good people. And we will win. We have to use facts. We have to be well-spoken. 
The Second Amendment has become taboo in the mainstream media, but it's not. And we have to let them know that we're the polite people. We are the people who speak properly. We are the people that care about people that have losses. We just want to protect our families and this great country. So thank you so much, sir, for the letter. Thank you for all of you guys who are always giving me thought-provoking comments. Just letting me know that, you know what, when I sit in front of this camera, I'm by myself, guys. There's nobody else in this room. I have a loving family at home. I have great friends, but I'm sitting here by myself. And it makes me feel like this fight is worth fighting when I get letters from this guy, when I get comments from you guys, you guys letting me know everything you're doing. It makes me know that I'm not alone. And although my channel is so tiny, it could never make a difference. If all of us just keep spreading the word to everybody I know, we're going to win this, guys. So keep it up. Don't let down. Never stop because the other side is never, ever going to stop trying to take our guns. And we always need to prevail and protect the greatest experiment on self-governance and liberty that the world's ever seen, the United States of America, which isn't some suit up on Capitol Hill. Those people work for us, you and I, and you, you and you, and the thousands and millions of us. We are the United States. So go out, guys. Stand up for yourselves. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll enjoy hopefully hearing some stuff from you guys in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.